I made this course for you. I want you to do well, I want you to succeed, and I want you to get the most out of this course that you possibly can. And so in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips for how you can proceed through this course to maximize your learning experience. So here are five main points, and now I'm gonna spend about a minute talking about each of these points. First of all, it's important to make sure you understand what this course is all about. This course is about implementing math expressions and equations and concepts in Python. It's not a course about a lot of theoretical or abstract math. Now, I do explain all the concepts in the slides before switching to code, but I spend more time working on implementing math concepts in code than I do working through lots of examples and intricate details. So the idea of this course is for you to learn how to use Python as a tool to help you learn math. That means you are going to get the most out of this course if you treat this course as a supplement alongside another math course in high school or university or an online course, something that goes into the theory and the abstract features of math. The reason why Python is such a powerful tool for learning mathematics is that Python can deal with all of the implementational details and that allows you to focus on the important concepts. It allows you to build intuition based on going through lots of examples and importantly, a lot of visualizations. In the videos, I spend a lot of time going through code and explaining code and encouraging you to write code based on exercises that I give. But math and programming are not spectator sports. So if you just watch the videos without working in Python yourself, then that's still pretty good. You're definitely going to learn something. But if you really want to deeply get involved in the learning, if you really want to master math, then it's a good idea to have the video open and have Python open at the same time so you can code as you're watching the video. One of the amazing things about video-based and online learning is that unlike in real life, you can pause the video whenever you want. So don't hesitate to pause the video when I'm in the middle of explaining something. You can see if you can code faster than me, you can see how I set up the code and then you can change the code as you like. And relatedly, and perhaps most importantly, you should think of my code more as like starting code to help you get started. After you see the code that I've written, you can change the variables in the equations or the parameters or the colors or the plots and so on. As I already mentioned, the best way to learn is by doing. And that's why I have an exercise associated with every single video and also larger projects at the end of every section of the course. Now I go through all of these solutions to the exercises, but you should also definitely try your best to solve the exercises before you watch me solve them. It's important to keep in mind that there are many correct ways to code. So if your solution looks a bit different from my solution, then as long as the end result is accurate, it's okay if you set up your code differently from how I set up my code. As I mentioned in the previous slide, you should consider the code that I presented to be kind of beginner code that helps inspire you, helps you continue on your own, changing the code, improving the code, and therefore getting the most out of this course. Math and programming are not easy. Anyone who tells you that coding is easy and math is easy is probably just trying to trick you. But the hard work leads to big rewards. I really believe that. You have to embrace the course and embrace the learning experience, which includes a little bit of frustration every now and then. And I really believe that if this course weren't challenging, then it would get boring and it wouldn't be worth your time or your investment. And speaking of investments, your brain is the most valuable and precious resource that you have. So invest in yourself, invest in your brain, invest in your future, and you should already be happy and proud of yourself that you are doing the right thing by learning math and learning coding. The final point is that you should take advantage of your lifetime access to this course. As long as human civilization continues to support 
electricity, and the internet, you will be able to access this course. So you don't need to rush through the course as quickly as you can. You should feel free to come back and rewatch videos that you've already gone through. And you can always come back to this course in the future. And in fact, that's a good idea because I periodically add new videos and maybe even entire new sections to this course. So you should come back and check out what's new. Now, I designed this course to flow in the specific order that the course is presented in. So I do recommend going through the course videos in order. However, that is really just my recommendation. You should definitely feel free to skip around in the course and watch some later videos, even if you haven't completed the earlier sections. That's all I have to say to get the most out of this course. Good luck, have fun, and I look forward to seeing you in the rest of the course.